Hey, what's up, guys? IGBM here. So, Samsung released a lot of devices between August and September, and the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G happened to be one of them. This is the sequel to the phone that shook up the whole folding phone world last year, and just like the Galaxy Fold that got a lot of headlines because of its new and innovative form factor, the same applies to the Galaxy Z Fold 2. And in this video, I'll be talking about the four major upgrades of the Galaxy Z Fold 2 over the original Fold. But before we start this video, do note that everything about the Galaxy Z Fold 2 is better than the original phone. Everything from the materials to the design, even the execution, it's all there. Okay, so there are four main areas where there are major improvements and that would be the screen, the hinge, the cameras and the software. There's other things, there's improved specs and all that, but all that are really minor changes. So I'll leave the two timestamps down below if you want to skip through your favorite parts. Okay, so let's start with the screens. Both the cover display and the main display got huge improvements. The cover display is now a full-size corner-to-corner display from that 4.6 inch display with gigantic bezels to a 6.2 inch super AMOLED display, but it, it is still a very narrow display. The main display is also a big improvement. The bezels on the insides are now a little bit thinner and it's now a 7.6 inch square AMOLED display from the 7.3 inch on the fold. The, but the more noticeable thing is that the huge camera cutouts from last year is now gone and has been swapped for a single 10 megapixel punch hole selfie camera. The main screen is now high refresh rate with 120 hz but it's actually an adaptive refresh rate meaning it will switch between 11 hz to 120 hz depending on what you're doing on your screen. Okay, so that brings us to the second major upgrade which is the hinge. And this is actually the second generation hinge that Samsung has worked on. And this year, Samsung is going to allow you to customize the hinge between four different colors, which is really nice if you're willing to wait for a couple extra weeks. But now, this hinge will allow you to use the Z Fold 2 as a mini laptop, but anywhere from 75 to 115 degrees, which means that this hinge will stay put in any reasonable angle you put it in. Now, let's talk about the cameras on the Galaxy Z Fold 2. The cameras on the original phones were pretty good and they were actually flagship quality at that time. And you will also be getting flagship quality camera with the Fold 2 using the triple 12 megapixel camera array with a regular, a telephoto and an ultra wide. Everything about the Galaxy Z Fold 2 screams futuristic bleeding edge technology except for one thing and that is the camera. That's not to say that the cameras are bad. The cameras are still great but they sit below the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra Camera. For one, there's no fancy space zoom periscope camera and no high megapixel count. But the cameras aren't the big improvements here. The big improvements are actually the camera layout and how they work well with each other. So the main and cover display share the same exact 10 megapixel f2.2 camera. And now you can actually take high resolution selfies. By, by using the rear camera surface and to turn on the bigger cover display and let's use it as a viewfinder. And all these are made possible because of Samsung optimization for One UI software. So, speaking of software, that's actually the last big piece here. And Samsung knows that, so that's why they've made a lot of software tweaks on the Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G. For example, Multitaxing is a huge thing when you have such screen real estate and Samsung knows that that's why they've made a lot of software tweaks which will allow you to run three apps side by side with with another with a fourth floating window thanks to the 12 gigs of RAM. App continuity allows you to use an app on the cover display and when you open up the main display the app will expand to the size of the main display and vice versa. So flex mode allows a slowly growing list of apps to recognize when the phone is folded halfway, then it will treat the app like a mini laptop. For example, if you are using the camera app, it will recognize it, then put the viewfinder on the on the upper half and put the camera mode and shutter key on the bottom half. Even when watching a YouTube video, it will recognize it, then put the video on the upper half. Or if you are in calendar or gallery, they also support flex mode. Alright guys, that's been it for now. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.